What are you looking at, Jenny? Your destiny. But fuck it! Don't take that off! <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I gotta think of some other killer one liner. <laughs> I could be in for hours. It's okay. I, honestly, I feel like I saved you on that one. <laughs> that was so bad. Damn. It's raining and dark. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. Like most of the wearers here are a little bit younger. Uh huh. More, you know. Whip behind the ears. Amateurish. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Let's show them how That's it's true. done. Show me the fucking leaderboard. Time for a new name to go up top. <laughs> Who are you winking at? I'm setting the tone right now. My destiny. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming around. <laughs> oh shit. Ooh, just mm. covered up my nerves. <laughs> it's all That's interesting. What would we be? Let's go around. Okay. Ashton? Well, I mean, clearly I would have to go with some sort of heavy reptile, because it's the only thing that would make sense with, Ooh, with the uh, with like the complexion. So, well, you know, like an alligator or something like that. Oh, that you are. I guess I'd go with a rabbit. Oh, Solid. A were rabbit? Were rabbit. Were rabbit. Are we allowed to be things that are not actually predators? I don't know how it works. I mean, aware of her before. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll consult the spirit of this realm and get back to you. Imogen? I, I mean, I would say a werehorse. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, nay. Is that that'd just be a centaur? So <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be. I'm trying to imagine what it would actually look like. Just a horse head on Maybe like body. you wouldn't a actually be able to walk up, right? So you'd just be like, just stuck. Bojack. Yeah. A horse head <laughs> with the most beautiful purple mane. <laughs> just a My Little Pony at that point. <laughs> I mean, like, that, even that, it's gone wrong, even for My Little you know, Pony. So consult your spirits let me know if that's acceptable. Uh, perception yeah. spotty, the rain fucks it up. Probably be like a, a werequoka oh, or yeah. like a werebearer, capybearer. Oh, werebearer, damn. Yeah. That's real cute. Werebearer. 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 Like a shit for the cuddly over here. Okay. FCG, well, get us dance. right back on the meeting. I, I had, I came prepared. <clears throat> Oh, oh, a wear bass. A wear bass. Oh, the wear bass. Yes. Uh, yes. I want to feel the water again. Why does it look like it has red hair? Because that's the fur of the wear bass. <laughs> oh, cause, oh. Cause that's the werewolf part. Yeah. How scary. Got it. I can't. <laughs> no. Mm. Well, that's good. What about you, Imogen? I mean, like, did you just pull a mat and call me Imogen? Yeah. Yep. yep. Amazing. <laughs> uh, it's catching. <laughs> so shit. Oh no. <laughs> Nervous are we? I mean, I guess like um, a were rat, but like a big rat. Oh. You know, so I could roll with pate. Like a where are you at? Ooh. Yes. Where where die rat? Where die rat? Where 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 die rat? Where die rat? Oh my god! Wow, what is happening tonight? That's all I just heard. It. <laughs> well, wait, what what form would you pick if you could choose? We never asked you that last night. Cockatoo. <laughs> Oh, you'd be a really, really, really good, smart yeah. As fuck. Well, they with talk. the color of the plume, be yep. like, fits oddly. Like a peach plume. And then you fly. Who wouldn't want to fly? Peter. I, I love flying. Yep. Golly. It changes on the daily. I'm a little fickle. <laughs> I don't know. I think you were a wolf. Well, mm. thank you, Olam. I appreciate that. I do my best. You could bite you. less. And if I was a cockatoo, they would just be like nibbles. Right. Unless I don't like you, and then them some bitches hurt real bad. Yeah, birds, can birds can be dicks. Real hard. Yeah. Beaks are scary. Mm. <laughs> Ripping depth and drama people come for. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't even lie, you guys playing D and D at home. You've totally wondered what hot <laughs> werewolf like <laughs> rope you turn into. <laughs> you know you do it. Our audience is super horny. Let's be honest. <laughs> this is super authentic. Yep. Do you do you choose what where beast you turn into? At the moment of infection, yeah. the great spirit of the lichen beast comes to you and asks you to step through many doors, and each door is a different beast, and you select which door to go through. I almost How many went with doors were there. There was about thirty-seven of them. They're expanding every year, though. They're trying to. No, it's, it's the, each strain carries the beast. In it. I'm sorry. Oh, I, had just, oh, oh. I saw the gullibility open, and I couldn't, I couldn't stop myself. It's okay. So it's I just, okay. State right I understand. Look, it, it was all in good fun. I feel bad now. It's don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. But yeah, lycanthropy, every strain comes in its own variation. I don't 
quite know what the origins are for each one, whether they be magically created or what sort of bloodline curse may come from. But you know, if you get bit by a werewolf, you, get, you can become a werewolf. If you get bit by a werebore, you become a werebore. Oh. It's just I, kind I, of have you ever seen a werehorse? Thank you. You watch his nod, like furrows his brow, trying okay. to comprehend what the hell that would look like. And goes, I, I don't. Herbivores in general. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, as far as I know, most everything is is, is predominantly predatory and the, the basis of the curse. Uh, be real, wouldn't, wouldn't be all that helpful and or dangerous if you became a beast that just ravaged all the nearby plants. <laughs> so that depends on the plants. I agree. Savage kick, though. Where, deer? Mm, not so bad. As far as I know, at least. I mean, I could be wrong, I'm no I expert. Moose or? Oh my god, can you imagine how big a were moose yeah, would be? Real big. Were giraffe? Would the, would the were moose shrink when they became a person? <laughs> <laughs> right. Just a single bite can turn can turn you. Yeah. So what's the difference between like biting someone and then you kill them and then biting them and then they turn? Yeah, if you bite someone and then you kill them, they're dead. Okay. And then if you just bite them and they get away, then they have the potential to turn. Do you have to break the skin? Yes. Right. I can't just like <laughs> I don't know, maybe your slab is yeah, yeah. So you could you could kiss an, another person without sure turning could. them. It's oh not, yeah, it's not saliva. Have you kissed anyone for since you've actually? a solid actually... hour, you can kiss all you want. Transformation by Hickey. A solid hour, just oh. kiss. I'm. I got at least a solid hour in that form. You bet. <laughs> <laughs> Them's the rules. It's true. It's mechanically sound. <laughs> what, if, what if you haven't finished by then? Oh wow. <laughs> Disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> widespread mushroom caps, almost like a series of clustered umbrellas, distinctly bright colorations that stand out amongst the environment. As we go by, can I just grab a, a little one and be like, Fern, yes. are these are these good to nibble on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you were so quick with that answer, you must really know your fun guy. I do, I do. So do you want some? Sure. <laughs> How does it taste? Tastes not good. Oh. Probably needs to be cooked. A little bit of like a tangerine. A little pepper. Cool. That's a little weird. My tongue feels so strange. I'd like you to make constitution savings. Right? <laughs> Eight. Slightly kind of citrusy burning sensation just kind of begins to fill the inside of your chest. It's almost like a like a like a like a straight bourbon, how it just burns its way oh, down and through. Cool. It's not Painful. It's not odd. Just his eyebrows kind of extend and wiggle a bit, <laughs> and his features almost seem to like stretch in odd ways. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's the taste profile <laughs> like? <laughs> oh, I think you're turning. You know what? I think I know exactly what this is. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> you look so crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna keep some of this for later because I think I know exactly what this is. Hey guys, are you coming? <laughs> okay, onward ho. <laughs> the combination of mist and quickly moving shadows seem to like stretch at times. Trees almost seem like they're rubber banding past you. The Gorgini compatriots are kind of keeping an eye out, and you see Manad at one point kind of like catch your small of your back and go, You all right? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> are you all right? Quite fine. Uh, so you eat one of them <laughs> mushrooms and just want to make sure you're feeling okay. I am feeling so good. I'm sure you are. Did you want any? Maybe when we get back. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just stay about five, ten feet behind you and you just keep moving on, just keep it up. Why so far? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yep. gonna do anything. <laughs> his, his orcish complexion definitely darkened slightly as he kind of looks down. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, um, well, just for safety reasons. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not that dangerous, but okay. It's <laughs> a good idea. You are effectively poisoned for the next 24 hours. <laughs> Do they look like they're moving to you? Yes, they're dancing. Your pupils are enormous. Are you weirder than normal? Oh wow, yeah, oh. look at that. What did you do? I, I just ate uh, ate um, just a little poof of a mushroom. It was just a little nibble. I thought you said it was, it was fine. just a nibble. All mushrooms are totally fine. You don't know eat. anything about mushrooms, do you? I know a little bit. <laughs> you know that there's one that makes you all sorts of weird at this point, I suppose. Okay. 
Okay. Who do you think is the hottest out of the werewolves? Oh, yes, Say my nod. Well. Yes, my nod. Yes. My goodness. Feels like almost yeah. like a cheap answer at that yeah. point. Yeah. FCG, can you get a little trippy? Can you get turned? I don't know. Here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put it on the end of the tongue and I'm going to roll it in. <laughs> <laughs> no. like Looney Tunes. But let's try this first well, and see if it works. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 this is your technically this is you're doing. Do you want me to see if I can connect with whatever this thing is and ask on your behalf? All right. Give me just a moment. See if you can reach out to the change bringer. <laughs> change bringer. Change bringer. Please answer me. For a moment you almost swear you hear a voice go, "Hi." Oh, they just said hi. Do they know who I am, or? Hi, this is kind of a two-part question, <laughs> but do you know who FCG is, and is he on the right path? Hi. On your knee, you see this tiny little black beetle is looking up at you, it's kind of legs out, and it has this like humanoid face, and it just looks up at you and it goes, hi. Are you the change brain? <laughs> hi. <gasps> Oh, wow, I didn't know you would look like this. <laughs> Did you make the decision about Laudna? The wings <laughs> unfurl as it's flying up and kind of lands on your forehead. You kind of feel this like warm hug coming around you, like the, the embrace of a deity. You just watch this bug just kind of <laughs> <laughs> I think that the change bringer is reaching out for a hug for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. metaphorical hug. I don't need to hug the bug or anything. Well, maybe you should give it a try. <laughs> give it a big hug. <laughs> try to not squish it. <laughs> Here, I think it wants you back. <laughs> All right, well, well, you should go, and um, thanks for talking to us. <laughs> <laughs> Does it take Sophie here? Love you. Oh. Love you too. There's a little trail of color behind it as it goes. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we are being hunted by twilight tigers. Mirror image. Now there's two images. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there always? Every other member of the Gorgini go into their hybrid forms and kind of form a circle around your troop. Don't and you me. do the same. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just put my hand out like Chris Pratt. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Easy girl. This is an incredible gift. I don't view it as a curse. I know some might. I view it as an opportunity to, to make change, to, to help. I'll make the world a better place. You know, for as much as a small, ragged, prickly persona you maintain for an exterior, there's a soft inside and you see she kind of like pokes you in the belly. Uh. Does that bother you? I mean, you got a hard finger, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a lot more to worry about than this. If you continue on this path, you realize. What do you mean? You will always be hunted. Because we're like this? Yes. By who? fear what they do not understand. We are the few that can live with this. How about you go ahead and chew on this twig for a bit while we're walking and just uh, keep yourself focused? Why have we never thought about giving her a twig? <laughs> <laughs> Did you give her a twig because it helps with the mushrooms or is it because she looks like a deer? Or maybe just because of like, the jaw, it's like she's clenching her jaw. Oh. To help. I he was profiling for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. What's from the pan? Very least I could do. What's the most? <laughs> oh, okay. oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just kidding. We're walking. We're walking. We're walking. We're walking. We're walking. He just <laughs> dark, dark, darkens his shade a little more and just keeps walking. Oh, wow. No, you didn't tell us about the temple. I wrote down Zavralo, Temple of, and that's it. The Savage Heart. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's the temple of uh, Sayaran, which is the keeper of the Savage Heart. When I went through my trial, I saw something different than what everyone else here is. It's not a singular beast, but it seems to be kind of a representation of the, the feral protective spirits of the Gloom Jungle, or at least this area of it. It kind of looks over the order of nature. It is both a protector of and a guide to hunter and prey. It, it knows that in order to live, that balance has to be struck. There was a short time during the Apex War that uh, became a a secret military outpost for the Stratos throne. It was uh, briefly occupied and used as kind of a base of operations for some sort of group of operatives hoping to strike out at Eos and some of the more sensitive elements of Shenador. Uh, you can weird. see bits and chunks, because it uh, seems that Sayadin definitely took it back herself. The beasts of the temple sent them packing and fleeing, uh, kind of left a bunch of their stuff behind. How long ago was that? A couple decades ago. How, how big is Alan's hammer? It's maybe about two inches shorter than yours. Okay, but it's yeah, thicker. Right. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. You're a child. You're a child. Whereas yours is, is like an even hammer for yeah. both uh, impacting oh, sides. Oh, it's a hammer. Yeah, this one has a, a wider front and like almost like, not, not quite a pick at the end, but it has a, a, a thinner point of impact so that it can sure. be more incisive yeah. pressure against whatever it wants to hit. I've been watching a little bit the practice run. A little bit, yeah. I assume it's nice and clean and well-formed. It is. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeding all of it yeah. I don't think I don't know that. <laughs> Take it, motherfuckers. Children! <laughs> <laughs> Feeling uh, insecure, Ashton? No. <laughs> I'm excited to, mm -hmm. to see how this whole thing works out. Are you a little cold? <laughs> Just Come <seems> on. I was in the pool! Should I mine this bigger? Okay. A space about the size of Ashton. You can see what may have been a larger entrance is now mostly covered. Each one of the Gorgine kind of like step in, and now it kind of keeps the caboose region of it, kind of waiting for all of you to enter. As you all begin to push into the interior of the structure, you immediately are hit by the smell of stale water, damp earth, old musk, bestial scents claiming it as territory and to either vanish or still live somewhere in the shadow within. The first thing you notice is there are wooden supports, little beams in the sides that you see on the inside of a, of a mine shaft hanging from one of its kind of iron bars around it. It looks to be a lantern, but the glass element has been shattered. Long kind of carving tunnel. This area might have been larger in places, but elements of it have collapsed inward. You have bones, ancient chunks of bone, flakes and shards. Things that have just either been crushed through time or through many, many years have just been stepped on until it became just a shale that once existed within a creature. With chunks of larger bone here and there, it's not entirely certain as to what these may have belonged to until you see the first humanoid hey, skull. Oh. Wolves or coyotes or long uh, overgrown with like a moss. Like they've been here for quite some time. A lot of these bones look very old, and a lot of them look like they've been either uncovered recently by someone sweeping through, but some, some of them look very new. Some of them look like creatures that may have died not more than a few months back, and the the bones themselves look clean and smoothed over, like the insects and other creatures that exist off the decay of beings have cleaned it thoroughly, and it's now left here as another display of the cycle of life. Human skulls that have been here for a few decades. You see chunks of leather armor. You see rusted weaponry. In one of the skulls, you see what looks to be a series of puncture marks that look like large teeth. There are gashes, strikes across the wood, some that could be bladed, some that could be claws. You do see one blade that is half still embedded in one of these supports. Rust has taken it extensively. This tunnel opens into a larger antechamber. There's a break in the ceiling about 40 feet above you, a two or three foot hole that you can see out. Single shaft of light that breaks down and kind of falls into the center of the room. Whether it be just runoff from the recent storm or some element of a re nearby brook above the cliff drains out here. A single, ever-present trickle of water that just kind of partially mists as it falls and it just topples down into the middle of the chamber where you see standing a female humanoid statue clutching something to her chest. And there are numerous other statues carving some of what you've seen that are standing on their own, but some of them have fallen over and crumbled with bits of the fallen rock. You see broken furniture, bits of wood, uh, metal tools that are kind of like rusted and lost amongst the rest of broken stone and pebble. Panther-like stone sculpture that is shattered into four pieces and has kind of been overgrown with bits of, of vine and moss. A number of, of metal iron sconces that are bolted into the stonework around the chamber. The Gorgine kind of separate and begin to take out of their pouches dried wood, begin to light the wall mountain brazier, to bring more of a flickering firelight into the chamber. Do you have to go talk to the statue or anything? Romance the statue. 
Maybe he has to fall in love with you. Romance the stone, you say? Mm. Uh, the statue itself is standing probably about six foot tall. She has this kind of majestic air about her, a plump frame, uh, long curling hair that kind of goes past the shoulders and almost touches the ground around her. It seems to like unfurl into the ground. She's clutching what looks like a, like a scabbard to her chest with both hands and she's kind of just looking forward with this kind of maternal, partial smile. This is indeed a statue of Seratami which is the Marquesian name of the Wild Mother. She represents the goddess and entity that oversees, protects, and is the through line and spiritual cord to all things natural that exist in the wild. I have Traps. a bunch of ball bearings. Okay, sure you do. they are so a staple. The Marisha Ray story. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have a, a bunch of ball, ball bearings. I have a bunch of ball bearings. I'll focus myself, close my eyes. Diodon, Chandy Pockapee here, C-Pop Industries. <laughs> I know it's taken me four centuries to get to this point, but I'm here to make a difference. I look at your influence as a blessing, and I want to be straight with you. I'm going to use this for personal gain, but only a little bit. I've seen a lot of shitty things in the world, and some of that stuff needs a, a force to push it back. I'd like to do that at times. And also, I have personal beef I'd like to squash. On the side, after I've done some good, I am willing and open to any wisdom that you could share. You hear this loud crunching sound. <laughs> you glance over and you see Monada sitting in the corner, kind of chomping on a, looks like some sort of a hard vegetable. Just, Bro! Sorry, I'd, you're gonna be there a while. Am I, am I doing this right so far? I think so. Be open, I guess, and patient. A wisp of a shape seemed to drift through the mist of the falling trickle of water. Almost like a hand passes through it, but it seems to shift and take its own form, like there's a glimmer of something there, like a, a ghost or some sort of a spectral movement. Right as this happens, Chetney, you feel emotions begin to build up from inside you that aren't your own. Images that fill your head like shapes and smoke. There's not language there, but you can interpret intent. Questions to where the emotion and imagery still pierces to your heart, and you know the spirit's present. Are you hunter or prey? Hunter. You are hunter and prey. Are you yearning for freedom or indulgence? Freedom. You are a fool. You see to the garden. Or spoil the earth. Spoil the earth. You are a catalyst. I smell it within you. The blessing. The curse. The curse. Go. When you feel that burning red, for a second you close your eyes and you can see the red flare between your lids as you open once more. If I take one, I take a part of you with me and leave a part of me with you. The emotions seem to be less scattered and more focused. Will you accept my trial? Yes. All the Gorgine in the chamber stand up. Oh no. And close their eyes together as one, and as they open them once more, there is a pale blue mist that kind of drifts out of their open eyes. Oh no. Whoa, sure, yes. it's fine. sure, it's fine. And they just stand there, all looking to the center of the chamber where the statue and Chetney are. As you say yes, the Gorgine flicker on as still guardians. Chetney, you feel that that red, that, that, that burning tether to the ruddy moon be tugged and pulled. And you feel that that tickle, that urge to give in, that hunger, that violence, that, that necessary allure, that howl, that call, that beckoning, that thirst, that taste of blood and running earth and flesh, the rush, the flow, the leap, the climb, the tear, the growl, the hunger, the bite, the snarl, the break. It all boils and churns and churns and pulls and pushes from within. It's pushing out, it's pushing out, it must be free, you must be be free, you must give in to this. It is here, it is now, it is within, and it is out. It must be out. This mist that's drifting off of the waterfall within begins to splash down heavily. The water begins to come down like a waterfall almost. 
onto and around Chetney. And as it does, the mist seems to gather in a light within the moonlight. <laughs> and as it does, Chetney tumble over and begin to bulge. The shoulders begin to ripple and expand, the fur <laughs> expanding as the transformation sets in. The face pulls back and the snout of the wolf begins to push out and it grows larger and larger. Bigger than you've seen Chetney emerge as its arms reach out, the length of almost eight feet on each end, the claws extend, the white fur begins to burn outward like a massive mat of cloak-like fur, a carpet of continuous snow-white spines out of the body. The teeth extend, slobbering, growling, the, the, the spittle itself almost carrying a ruddy liquid coloration to it as it spatters onto the ground, lost almost amongst the fall of the water itself. Shannon begins to spin, you see that same kind of blue misty glow in his eyes amongst the other Gorgine. The water is still scattering across the shoulders. Or fighting all. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen! He's so big! Here's your stat sheet, Chetney. He's bigger than Grog! Oh my god. That name is interesting. I need everyone to roll initiative. Oh my god. Oh so what are we, my what god. Are we, what are we, are we a part of this? What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we on a trial? I'll just get up a, a spiritual weapon up and ready. It'll be a stake. <laughs> no, no, I'm just. I'm ready. Clearly, okay. that's, that's just me. <laughs> no, I don't have a steak mini, but I'll go ahead and just. Not like a steak. Steak through the heart. Oh yeah, shit! That doesn't work on werewolves. <laughs> nope. well, I don't know. I'm a robot. Sounds a steak. Oh wait, sounds a steak. Like I thought it was a steak. Steak. Can you roll up? Doesn't that work on werewolves too? Steaks work on werewolves. Is that a silver bullet? It'll penetrate them. There you go. You got a steak. Like a big piece of meat. Yeah, it's a silver steak. It's a silver shirt. There you go. It's floating up there in the air for it. I'm going to uh, go into hyper rage, so I'm just a blur now. Okay. Just a blur of red and blue. Is that a thing? Yeah, so I'm going to add part of this kid. going to attack. Yeah, it's I got something it. new every time. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to hyper sorcery. That sucks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will pick up a twig off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and I will, I will shout a command at oh, Chetney. Don't you do it. Fetch! <laughs> don't you do it! <laughs> yes. I'll throw it. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. You throw it. So you, you throw it. Fetch! <laughs> <laughs> the um, hole in the ceiling in which the moon is coming in. A hole yeah. in the ceiling. <laughs> how, 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 how big is it? It's about four feet across. Yes. I could try and cast darkness over top of that area, or I could try and cover it with my body. You are not You're like a twig. I'm so You're excited, right? You're not, okay, okay, okay. You're a wicker. Can you form of dread yourself into like a tarp? I can. <laughs> You're a really scary type. I am tarp. bigger as a form of dread. I do extend. Yeah. <laughs> You're, still a, You're still a bamboo curtain, man. I'm still a bamboo curtain. I'm I am good. going to cast darkness over the hole, block out the moon. Okay. Oh. The sphere of shadow fills and encompasses cool. the ceiling portion. That beam of ever present sourceless moonlight that was pouring down from the water vanishes, gets cut off. The water continues to pour out of the black shadow, but the beam of light is gone, and inside the chamber, the only light that's around there are the surrounding Ooh. sconces nice in the space. Light. As that happens, Chetney form shrinks down to her normal werewolf. Oh! Oh! You're on there, man. Yeah. No, I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna ride. <laughs> All right. So you are just holding on him now, full on baby Bjorn onto. The fuck Chetney. are you doing? <laughs> so is he is still kind of like his arm in between Chet and I? Right yeah. there, as as the wolf comes tearing towards you. <laughs> come on, Chet. This is bullshit. <laughs> knock it off. And if you're not gonna knock it off, come here and let's. Just fucking do this, because they don't deserve it. <laughs> Through all the appeals to emotion, to find friendly connection, all chipping away at this boundary until eventually the wall that this spirit that has possessed you has put between you and your companions through this trial, another beast <laughs> meets you eye to eye and beseeches you to show your true strength. Please describe to me as you how you oh. regain yourself. Oh! oh! Yeah, you want to subdue this? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's do this. Wait, what? 
Uh, not for nothing, but I'm pretty sure you were gonna be fucked. Uh -huh. Um, I'm gonna slowly walk up to him. Come here. <laughs> oh. Boom! Right. Oh, ow, 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 <laughs> fucking. Ow, your hand is made of rocks. <laughs> Fuck my mouth. Ah, you're cool here. now. We're cool. <laughs> a resounding echo of laughter begins to fill the chamber as all of the Gorgine, no longer held by the spectral spirit, begin to laugh at what they just saw. I don't know. I think only time will tell. Maybe we go by the, uh, you know, chain me up protocol, visitors welcome. But hopefully <laughs> there's, you know, something to be gained from all this. Mm, have my knife. Oh! Yep. <laughs> Chetney. Yeah. Where are you looking? Up there. Is it your destiny? <laughs> no FCG. That's in here. Oh. A gentle wind blows oh. through from above. Oh. <laughs> An odd scent seems to come through the chambers. It's familiar, very faint. And emotions come over you as you recognize a scent you haven't smelled in a long time. It's the faintest scent of will, your skin. Just that natural scent. It's been a long time and suddenly the memories kind of wash over you for a second. Why do you smell that now, why? You turn around and you s swear for just an instant, like it, it seemed like it was emanating from that, but now it's almost gone and fading, it's odd. I'm, I'm totally left alone here. Did the moonlight seems to be almost haloing the statue before you. Gentle, matronly smile, clutching that sheath to her chest. Thanks. I'll take it. There are these small growths, like vines, and they're just kind of emanating from the top of the sheath. Like it's just like something is rooted in and growing. I see everyone's filing out, Fern waiting at the entrance. I'll get closer, try to understand what I'm seeing better. <laughs> kind of leap and perch onto the statue, and it is, you know, it's a, it's a sizable statue. Stone carries your light form without issue, but as you stand over, the sheath she, that she's clutching indeed has an opening. slides into it. The sheath looks like it's a little too big for your sword, but the sword fits into the space there. The hilt of it clicks into where the top of the sheath would be. The vines begin to wrap and grow rapidly, surrounding the handle of the blade, surrounding the top of the sheath, touching and wrapping around your hand. Warm to the touch, you see this faint green light begin to just emanate from the gaps around it, and the light fades. Your hand around the handle of the blade is now wrapped in vines and ivy. I'll try to gently pull free. As you pull it free, the ivy kind of just gently pulls away, like very little resistance. And as you draw your blade out, the blade looks the same, but as you kind of still grip it in your hand, the hilt of it, ivy grows from it and continues to wrap around your blade like a hand guard. As you look it over, emerald energy faint magical field kind of drift across the edge of it. Nice. Sort of on the statue's shoulder, looking right at her face, bow my head. I don't know why, but I'm grateful all the same. Thank you, Saratani. I'll take one last look up at the moonlight coming in, and then I'll leap down, drop, and look at Fern. Come on, I gotta go. I start taking off my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> And a little three foot three naked guy with a shield <laughs> and brand new sword just starts <laughs> running out. Are you streaking with me or what? Yes, hold on, jeez. As the collection of bells hells go charging off into the evening moonlight, nude as they choose to be. Nude the moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and finish the episode there. Um, 
couple Good fun game. things. You level up. Oh, yes! uh, so eight. everyone's level eight. Yes. You should notice a new feat under your feet it's called <gasps> Savage Spirit. <gasps> spirit. Three feet now. And uh, you mm. need to figure out the name for your sword. Uh, you get to name your blade. Wow. Yeah. Magic sword. Magic, Magic sword. sword. Oh, Magic is sword. Is that the name? <laughs> Magic, sword. <laughs> Magic, Magic sword. sword. Magic sword. Magic sword. Magic sword. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us. We love you very much. And is it Thursday? Yeah. Good night. Yeah.